chapter three. Chapter three has a lot of important information in it. What I'm gonna cover today is some things that tend to get a little bit confusing in chapter three, which is tabs. We all know that if I open up a Word document and I press the tab key on my keyboard, it's going to tab half of an inch at a time. Once in a while, I want my tabs set either closer or further apart. Also, maybe I want to set a tab that's all center aligned or right aligned. I need to know how to set that. The first thing you need to do, if your ruler is not showing when you open your Word document like mine, you need to go to View and check Ruler. If yours looks like this, you want the ruler to show because we need to see where our tabs are on our ruler. Now, before I get started, I'm just going to type a title, Workshops. I'm going to press Enter a couple times. Go back to my left align. And you see over here on the way left, we've got our tabs, our tab button. When I click on it or put mouse over it, I can see now it's a left tab. The upside down T is going to be a center tab. The right angle is going to be a right tab. And the upside down T with the dot is a decimal tab. For instance, if I'm talking with money and I want my decimal points lined up, I would use a decimal tab. And then we're going to click through um, and then a bar tab, which would be a vertical line. And then we're back to our indents, our first line indent our hanging indent, and back to left tab. Now, the first tab that I do want to um, create is a left tab at 0.75. So I'm going to keep the left tab button chosen. I'm going to go to my ruler and click on my ruler right under the tick mark at about 0.75. And I'll see that symbol that we saw over here show up. My next tab is going to be a center tab. So I need to click and get my center tab icon showing. And I want my center tab at about 3.25. So I'm going to click right about 3.25, and there it is. And then I want to have a right tab, and I want my right tab to be, oh gosh, probably about 6. Okay? Now as I press tab, I'm going to type in title, press tab, the price, tab, and the date. Now I press enter and it goes back to zero, press tab again, and I'm going to type Microsoft Office, if I can type, press tab, and that's going to be, let's say, $100. Press tab, and the date for that is going to be oh, September 27th. Press enter, tab. Um, we're gonna do Adobe. Photoshop. And that's going to be a little bit more expensive, so let's make that one about $250. And that one's not going to be till October 18th. Now, really quick, I want to show you. Do you notice the left tab are all lined on the left? The center tabs, you can't really tell because um, they're all about the same size, but they are center aligned. And over here on the right, these are right. They are right aligned. So you can use your tabs. You can set tabs by using your ruler. Once in a while, um, you don't want to use the ruler for a few reasons. One, if I want leaders, which are, if you think of like a table of contents, and if it goes dot, 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 um, you have to use the dialog box to do that. So I'm going to um, just go ahead and press enter, and then I'm going to clear these tabs. So I'm just going to pull them off. I don't want anything set right now. And I'm going to press enter again. I'm just going to use this same sheet and create another set of tabs. I'm going to go ahead and center, and we're going to call this the cafe, okay? We're going to have some list of items with prices, so we really only need to set two tabs. So I want to use the dialog box. I change this back to left align. To get to the dialog box, I am going to go to, in the paragraph group, the bottom right-hand corner, and at the bottom left, it says tabs. Now, I want to have my first tab set at about 1.25, and I'm going to have a left tab set it. My next tab, I probably want it, I want dot leaders from that. I'm going to go to about 5.5. So we'll go 5.5. And since they're going to be prices, I'm going to have them decimal tabs. And I want the dot leaders. So the number two leaders right here and choose set. Okay, so I'm going to press tab and type slice a pizza. 
press tab and I get the dots and I'm going to put in the price of two dollars press tab enter sorry and then tab I'm going to say burger tab and just because I want you to see how the decimals line up I'm going to say it's 75 cents I know pretty cheap burger but you notice how because it's a decimal tab they line up so that's pretty much the two main ways that the book is going to teach you to set tabs. Again, if you need, oh, I spelled burger wrong. If you need to um, have a, uh, dot leaders or a leader of any kind, I'll show you the different leaders. Um, we have dot, dashed, or solid line. Then you have to use the tab dialog box. Some people prefer to always use the tab dialog box. I'm kind of one of them. I don't really use the ruler because sometimes the little hard to get an exact spot to me it's easier to type it in but I want you to be aware that there's two different ways to do it the nice thing about the um, ruler is I can select my area and then I can go up here and I could change my tab let's say I want to move that to one inch see I just select and drag and it'll um, keep everything in place and adjust that tab in today's assignments you have a couple of assessments for chapter three just like you're familiar with with chapter one and two but you also have a sheet that looks like this and I get a lot of questions on this assignment that's why I'm covering it so please pay attention you'll get a sheet like this and the directions are to recreate it now it's saved as a PDF so you can't go in and judge and get the exact tab settings you have to come up with it so I'm gonna look at this and say oh gosh that's probably about 1.5 it's a left tab this group is a center tab probably about three inches this is a right tab, probably about 5.5. Then press enter a couple times, clear your tabs, and do these. You've got right tabs here, and you've got left tabs here. When you press enter a couple times, clear your tabs, and you're going to do this. Now, what this is, is a left tab with a solid line leader. Um, so you can do, and then you click over, so maybe this is at one inch, and then you got your solid line leader, and then maybe this is at four solid line leader. And then of course you've got your decimal tabs with the dots, you've got your um, dot leader, right tab, left tab. And here you have solid line leader before, okay? So you're going to recreate this without very many directions, you just need to think it out um, I'm not com terribly picky. For instance, if yours um, is off 0.25 to somebody else's in the class, as long as it looks visually appealing and very close to this, you're going to get your points for the assignment. Good luck with Chapter 3. There's a lot of other information besides what I've covered, but this is the, these are the things I typically get questions on. Let me know if you have any, question, any other questions, and have a good day.